obviously you had the media that were trying to demagogue it. You had the left that was kind of in a, in a real tizzy about it. But, you know, the left understood that they cannot win elections on that issue because parents are not going to stand for it. And so what they did was they tried to subcontract out their activism to corporate America. And so they enlisted as many companies as they could, but they were focusing on Disney, which obviously has a big foothold in the state of Florida. And their, th and their view was, if we get Disney involved in this, Disney coming out against it, then they're going to cave and, and the, the governor will not be able to sign the bill. Uh, so they did uh, do that, and, and Disney came out and was not honest about it and said, said that they opposed it. And people looked to me to say, okay, what are you going to do? And I'm saying, I'm standing my ground right here. I am not moving anywhere. You know, at the end of the day, when you're, when you're governor, you know, you take an oath, you're, you're, you're taking an oath to support and defend the people uh, that you represent. Uh, you're not taking an oath to subcontract out leadership to a woke corporation based in Burbank, California. It's not what you're supposed to do. And uh, as much as I disagree with that position, I understand they had the, the, the right to do it, but they, they did pledge themselves after we signed the bill that they would see to it that the Florida legislature would repeal the parents' rights. And so it's like, okay, you know, you were kind of bullied into taking this position. Now you're saying you're going to continue to wage uh, kind of a woke jihad against the parents of our state and our kids. You know, I'm not sure that that's something that, that, is, that is very appropriate. And so we just said, look, uh, whether you have the right to do it or not, I mean, I think in terms of the shareholder value and fiduciary duty, it may be a violation of that, but put that aside. On First Amendment basis, you have a right to do it, but you don't have the right to force us in Florida to subsidize your activism. And the fact of the matter is Disney was getting more subsidies than almost any company, and probably in American history, certainly more than anybody in Florida. And since the 60s, they've had their own government that they operate. Uh, they've had uh, exemptions from laws that all their competitors have to follow. And they've had massive tax breaks. And so all we said is, okay, that's a special arrangement. That's kind of joining this state with this one company at the hip. And if your values are get this gender ideology in elementary school curriculums, that is not the best interest of Florida. It's not in the best interest of our parents and our students. And so we are not uh, happy, no longer happy to have this arrangement. So we work with the legislature and now because we acted, uh, Disney is no longer gonna have its own government. Uh, they're gonna live under the same laws as everybody else and they are going to pay their fair share of taxes in the state of Florida. So, so these are all important issues, and I think the reason why I think education is so important is because uh, you know, we need to make sure that our young students have a proper foundation uh, when they go out in the world. You've seen ideology infect so many different institutions. It's not just us fighting people on the left in legislatures and in city councils around the country. Obviously, that happens. Uh, it's now being done through big tech companies, through corporate America, universities, all these other things. And it, 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 it creates uh, a situation, you know, I think in which freedom is much more tenuous uh, than it has been at any time in my lifetime. And Alexis de Tocqueville, he made the observation uh, in, in the 1800s that uh, a tyranny in Democrat republics doesn't proceed in the same way that it would in a monarchy. Uh, it ignores the body and goes straight to the soul. The master no longer says, you will think as I do or die. The mass, you are, he says, you are free not to think as I do. You may keep your life, your property, and everything else, but from this day forth you shall be as a stranger among us. And so at a moment when we hear so much about the soul of the nation, here in Florida, we're standing up for education freedom because it's partially in our classrooms that the protect, uh, perspectives of future generations are formed and where teachers and educators in whom we put our trust as parents can help provide our kids with a strong foundation for them to exercise the duties of citizenship in a republic. I thank the Heritage Foundation for taking uh, an interest in academic or education freedom 
I thank you for coming to Florida, and we're honored to receive the number one ranking this year. God bless everybody. Thank you. <laughs>